Hey, today we're gonna to be taking a look at my kind of DIY reflector holder setup, which is a lot more than just a reflector holder with parts made from Nine Dot Solutions. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to see more and more content as it's uploaded, and if you're not, thanks for coming back. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button at any time. But for now, let's get into the content. So some people asked about my reflector holder setup in some of the behind the scenes from one of my recent uh, photo shoots. And actually, it was the first time that I really used it like that. And I wanted to see how I could expand on that because my reflector holder arm was actually broken and it has been for years. It's literally held together with gaffer's tape. So I reached out to Nine Dot Solutions and I got together some parts uh, that I could use to use like a reflector holder, but also they have the added benefit of being able to be used in a number of different setups. So today we're going to take a quick look at those parts and kind of what they are in general and then I'll show you a few different ways that you can get this set up. So first of all, what I have here is a range of different clamps and rods and you don't need all of this to get this set up, but I wanted to show you a few different ways that you could set it up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the clamps first. What I have here is a python clamp with a rod hole. I'm not sure exactly what it's called here, but you can slide one of these rods right in here. And then the base itself here is just a standard python clamp. These two little mini python clamps here are going to be the main uh, things that you're going to use with all of these setups. And these are going to be what's going to actually hold the reflector in place on the rods. So these are mini python clamps with, again, that space for a rod to go in right down there. So next up, we have a few of these gags, these rod gags here. And what these are, there's a few different variations of them, but you're going to be able to slide in uh, two rods into each of these. The big one here will have knobs on both sides where you can adjust each side independently. And these small ones will only have one knob where loosening or tightening that is going to loosen all of it at the same time. The difference between these two is that this is a closed uh, rod clamp here where you'll just slide it in and this is an open one where you can pop it in from the top and I've actually found this one to be a little bit more easy to use but you know you do have different variations here. The bigger one is going to be a little bit more easy to use because the adjustment is independent but these smaller ones are possibly a little bit cheaper, more compact, easy to carry around with you. Finally we have the savior clamp here with a pin and this is going to be the base for using some of these gags here if you want to put this on an existing light stand, maybe if you have the light overhead and you want to attach this to that same light stand so you don't have to have an additional light stand, you can just clamp this onto the pole and then this will be where you connect these uh, gags. But we'll show you that in just a second. This is how I prefer to use it, but again, we're going to show you a few different variations here. Finally, we have a few different lengths of the rods that they have available. I believe this is 50, 75, and 100 centimeters. And what length you choose here is just going to depend on what size of reflector you have. And you can also connect these with these little screw uh, threads on the end here. So if you want to combine a few of these shorter ones into a longer overall arm, you can do that very easily. Or if you want to have just you know one, maybe two of the longer rods, you can do that as well. But it's going to be longer for transportation. But again, you have some different variations and some different options in how you can set this up. So we're going to start off with what has been my favorite setup is using this savior clamp with the stud, which I'm just going to attach. If usually I was shooting portraits like a beauty setup, you know, I might have a light on top of here with a boom arm, you know, over my subject or maybe at a 45 degree angle and I'd want to get that reflector underneath. So, you know, that's the setup that I'm going for here. But again, you can vary this depending on how you need it. But I'm going to just attach the savior clamp with the stud to this existing light stand so that way you don't have to use an, an extra light stand, which is just easier for me. So, of course, first off, we're just going to screw this onto here. And then with the setup, you can use either of these gags. And I'm going to start off with the larger one because it's basically the same story with any of these, but I'll show you one of these after. With the larger one, you do have the knob on both sides, so the adjustment is going to be independent tightening to this uh, stud here and tightening to your rod. So let's go ahead and get that attached. So now we have the base of our setup here. This is the arm, if you will. And again, if you need to get this longer or shorter, you can either use a longer or shorter rod, or you can combine a couple of these to make it even longer. If you want to get this further away from the light stand, you can do that too by combining a couple of rods to make this whole setup longer. 
Next up, we're gonna use these mini Python clamps. We're just gonna slide these onto here so that way they're facing in. And this is gonna be what's gonna clamp down and hold your reflector in place. The actual rod connection on here is loosened up by you know pinching down these the little mouth of this. So when you pinch that down, you're able to slide it on. And when you let it go, it springs open. So that's kind of gonna hold it in place on the rod so you don't have to worry about holding it as you're tightening everything down. It's gonna kind of hold itself in place a little bit that way. So let's slide those onto the rod and get this set up. So as you can see, these, you know, they do slide around a little bit, but generally they'll hold themselves in place just because of that, you know, spring loaded clamp that will kind of tighten down on the rod even without tightening the knob. So uh, as you set their position for getting your reflector in here, you can just leave them in place. Let's go ahead and get the reflector in place and then we'll tighten these clamps down to hold it in place. So now after you tighten these down to hold the clamps in place, they're gonna hold onto that rod as well. So everything tightens down at the same time. So it's really, really securely in there. And if you want to change the position of this or the angle of this, you can loosen them up just a little bit. And then as you squeeze them down, it's gonna loosen its hold on that rod as well. And you can slide them back and forth. Um, you know, I don't have much space right now, but you could do that and then just tighten them back and you're good to go. So this is a really easy to use setup. And again, um, this is gonna be basically how it's gonna work. And I'll just show you a couple of different ways to attach this to your light stand besides this one that I have right now. So if you wanna use one of these smaller gags, this is the closed version, but basically you're just gonna slide it onto here and you're not gonna tighten it down yet because you need this to be loose to slide the rod into here, which I'm gonna do right now. Once you get the rod in place, you can start tightening this down and it's gonna tighten down on both the rod and this uh, pin at the same time. And then the result is basically the same as we had before, but it's only one knob. You can say that's faster, you can say that's easier, or you could say it's a little bit more finicky because when you loosen it up, this is all gonna come loose at the same time. So whichever way you wanna work, they both have the same effect. So if you wanna use this open version of the gag, the only difference is gonna be you're able to drop it in like that. You don't have to slide it in. So sometimes this can be useful when you're kind of tight on space and you, you don't have the extra space to pu pull this out and push it in like that. You can just drop it in um, in any situation and then it's a little bit easier to use in those tight spaces. But again, the result is gonna be the same. You got the rod and this pin attached side by side. So you have the arm attached to your light stand. If you wanna use two light stands and you have something like this where it has a pin on the top and it's at a good height for you, you could also just take one of these gags and slide it onto that pin like this. And then you could use the same setup again. You could slide the rod into here and you have that. In this case, it's mobile because it has wheels. Um, so if you wanna keep things separate or you don't have a light stand right next to your model, then this is a great way to work too. And you don't need this extra part here uh, to get this set up. The final way I wanna talk about is using this Python clamp that has the attachment for the rod built into it. And this is a little bit of a simpler way to work, but I don't like it as much, it's a little more finicky. The key thing is that you want to attach the rod before you attach this to your light stand, uh, because as you can see, everything in here kind of moves all together. So if you try to attach this to the light stand and then loosen it to fit the rod in here, you're gonna have to hold it and tighten it all at the same time. So I feel like getting the rod in here first and then tightening it down with this little thumb screw here to hold it in place is gonna let you do this a lot more easily. So then we're gonna take this and again, just attach it right directly to your light stand. So as you can see, the effect here is basically the same. You're getting your uh, reflector holder arm out here in front of you. Um, but like I said, with this, you have to make sure that you attach the rod to this clamp first. Otherwise, you're gonna be trying to you know, hold the rod and the clamp at the same time as you're tightening it down. And it's just kind of not quite as smooth to do. And this is not quite as strong as some of the other setups I showed you are just by themselves. So one benefit of this though, is that you can very easily take this clamp and then slide it on top of a C-stand and you can put your reflector in here and hang it vertically. So if you wanna put this on the side of your subject as you know, some fill 
or even negative fill. You can do that very easily. If you have something more stiff like foam core, you could put it in here and put it out at an angle and then uh, you can get a lot of different very uh, simple setups with this as if it was you know, a grip head right on top of your C-stand. So as I said, this may not be the cheapest option and it depends on what country you're in, what's available. For me personally in Japan, I found that you have either really cheap and really terrible reflector holder arms or kind of expensive ones that are a little bit overpriced, especially considering they're only reflector arms. You can't use them in any other way, but this setup, well, it's gonna be kind of right in the middle of those two options for me, has the added benefit of all of these parts being useful in a ton of different ways. You can use this, of course, as a reflector holder, but each of these parts individually or combined can be used in a number of different ways. I've used these rods as a kind of a makeshift boom pole for a microphone. I've used these clamps in just a number of different ways. They're extremely handy things to have in your kit. So while the price is not the cheapest, it's not the most expensive, but you do have a lot more versatility than you're going to have with just a standard reflector holder arm. For now, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave that down below and I will definitely get back to you. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to see more in the future, and as always, thank you for watching.